Bro Tips with Evan. Hey, how you doing today? Welcome to Bro Tips. It's a new series that I'm doing where I'm teaching you tips and shit that I've learned through YouTube throughout all of my time trying to learn how to do a YouTube channel. You will be surprised the amount of time that I have spent trying to figure shit out on this platform and uh, how there's like no answers for any of it. Today we are gonna do big brain and we're gonna do small brain and we're gonna do big muscle boys. We're gonna do it all. So I'm gonna teach you how to do these advanced steps that uh, I couldn't find anywhere. So hopefully this will help somebody else uh, not have to waste so much time like I've had to. And I actually had to figure this shit out by myself. So like, what's even the point of having Google? Okay, let's 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 do it. For the record, I am currently using Premiere Pro 2020 version 14.6, and I am using After Effects 2020 version 17.5.1. I think is that that's what it says. These glasses do not magnify. I still have shitty eyesight. So hey, what's up? This is Big Brain Time. Big Brain Time. You clicked on the right video if that's what you wanted. Big Brain Time. Okay, so let's just cut out a small little clip right here. Let's say this is what we want. Let's delete everything around it. Big brain time, right? Big brain time! There are two different ways to do this. There's the basic pleb way that everyone else is gonna recommend you, and I'm gonna recommend you the legitimate big brain strat, okay? So let's start with the original, like you're gonna see if you type into your, uh, your little keyboard, uh, I don't know, I'm making a YouTube video, and I want to be big brain. How to big brain effect. Every one of these videos, you see red, red, I've seen all these, I've seen them. I've seen them all! They're all the same. They all say the same shit, and it's not that good in my opinion. So here, let's check it out. What everyone's gonna recommend you do, you use the Spherize effect, you get it in your effects tabs, you boop, drop it down over here, go to your effects controls as normal, and then boom, blow that shit up. Mess with the radius, move it around, uh, it's over there. Oh, what? We're starting to get a big brain. Boom. Easy, right? Big brain time! Yeah. And obviously you can move it around and keyframe it just like anything else. It's not good over there, so I'm gonna move it. Up, 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 up. Continue to keyframe. You get you get the gist. You know what Premiere does. Boom, it's good enough. If you need a really fast big brain, that's how you're gonna do it. Also, I don't know, for me, like I don't think one is enough. I prefer two. That way you've got that ridiculous big brain baby. Hell yeah, that's how you do it. Okay, so that's the pleb version. I'm gonna show you the best way to do this, and it will actually be good for several different kinds of effects. Like, you can use it for, like, everything. So if you use Photoshop, right? Let me switch over to Photoshop. Look at that handsome devil right there. Look at that sexy boy. That's a good-looking man right there, ladies. That's a catch. Beautiful. So in Photoshop, a very important tool to use is the liquify tool. It's good for bloating. It's good for shrinking. It's good for pushing the face around. Let's push this over here. Ooh, I didn't know it could get sexier. For bloating, boom, and you just, that's, that's a little too big, but you get the juice. For shrinking, this is how you're gonna get that small face or small brain. Like, let's go small brain over here. Oh yeah, getting a little Neanderthal. Hell yeah, I think that's Tinder ready right there. So now that you understand how Liquify works, I'm sure you probably already know. If not, I'll have put a timestamp for you to skip. Let's go back to this. Big brain time! Okay, now if you wanna do the big brain effect like a professional, like a real big brainer, what you're gonna wanna do is go into Premiere and whether you like it or not, you gotta do After Effects. I'm sorry if you just want to keep it in Premiere. I understand, I try to do as much as I can in Premiere, but if you want this to look really legit, you're gonna have to replace it with an After Effects composition, baby. It's gonna populate, now it's an After Effects. The sweet ass thing Thing about After Effects. I don't know if this is somewhat new or if this is old or if people know about this. I had to go through every fucking effect in this program to be able to figure out the right thing. And I was like, oh, liquify? Like in Premiere? That's crazy. So you just drop that shit on and then boom, it's gonna be magical. It's exactly the same as Photoshop. So this is super dope, really great. What you do is you choose whatever you want. You change your brush size, whatever you feel like doing, brush pressure. I usually do it at 100 because I like to go hard with my big brain. They've got bloating, they've got shrinking, they've got it all. And the reason this effect works better is because with Sphere Eyes, you can only blow up one specific spot. But with this, you can use all of these in unison and really get the exact effect that you want. So let's say I want my head to be bigger, but I also want to shrink my face just a little bit to really accentuate how big the brain is. You can't do that with a Sphere Eyes. You can't do a negative Sphere Eyes. You can only do a positive Sphere Eyes. So there's literally no video out there on how to do a small brain. If you want to do a small brain effect, it doesn't exist. Until now! You're welcome okay so what you do is you come up here i press distortion mesh that's what you press to lock in that keyframe for distortion mesh i'm gonna click open the liquify tool and i'm gonna go just a little bit and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on whichever one you want whether it's bloating or puckering whatever floats your boat if you're doing big brain small brain whatever this is the effect you're gonna use for all of them hi guys 
and girls. All of the arrows pointing into this is gonna be what you're gonna use for your small brain. And the ones that are pointing out is indicative of bloating. So you're gonna use that for the big old, big old brainster that you got right there. And if you really want to emphasize that big brain, you can shrink your head a little bit. So it's like a ridiculous big brain. I'm gonna go ahead and easy ease these. Keep it simple. There's no audio here, but whenever you switch over to Premiere, it'll have the audio. Big brain time! Just like that, you have a big ridiculous brain big brain time. Too much big brain, in my big opinion. But you get the gist of like the power that this effect has big and what time. you can do with it. So that's big brain. Let me show you small brain. So this small brain clip. I'm really bad about my small little brain. Small brain. Okay, let's bring that into After Effects. Same exact process. Take both of your clips, your video clip and your audio clip. Right click, replace with After Effects composition. Take your liquify, drop that bad boy. Same exact process. Find where you want it. You're gonna click distortion mesh, do inverse, go to pucker tool, bring it up to about 100. That's what I do. You don't have to. Mess around with it, have fun. That's what uh, Premiere and After Effects is all about. Like don't do exactly what I tell you to do and it will uh, be a good time. I'm gonna give myself that strong jaw to really emphasize how small my brain is yeah that that's looking pretty small brain baby if you've got movement in your clip like right here you see my head is going to move from there to there what you do is you set your distortion mesh offset keyframe and you move to where you want it and then you just move that <laughs> so now i finished doing my keyframing i did easy ease to keep it nice and smooth and then it will automatically populate in your premiere file if you have a computer that doesn't run super strong i would recommend exporting your video clip but if you have a strong computer it'll automatically save your after effects file separately and will automatically update and repopulate your premiere file with a direct link to that after effects file now what i'm going to do subconsciously is i feel like i'm sounding dumb i'm going to fix my glasses sometimes to emphasize that I'm not done. Okay, so everything's said and done. Let's check out that small brain effect, baby. Really bad about my small little brain. Small brain. Beautiful. There's not a single YouTube video out there that shows you how to do the small brain effect. Nothing. None of these have anything to do with that. They're like literally talking about having a smaller brain. So this is some primo content out there, baby. This is an untapped market. If you like this untapped content, consider subscribing. I hope you enjoy these videos. This is my first tutorial. So hopefully it's not a hot piece of garbage, hopefully. Uh, okay, so we have done big brain. We have done small brain. Let's have some fun and mix it up. We don't have to always be doing the simple stuff. You know, that's what this uh, whole field is about. Just mixing it up and having fun. And now it's uh, Chad time. Chad time. Time to Chad. Okay, let's do that. Just like all the others. Every time, right click, replace with After Effects composition. Like magic, it's in there. Time to Chad. And now it's a uh, Chad time. I love it when After Effects is like trying to render it. It's like, time to Chad time. Time to Chad. You drop that on there, boom. And then I do a little flex right there, right? So let's do distortion mesh. Drop that down. Look at your effects. Go to liquify. Make sure you've got your keyframe set. Go to where you want your out point. I'm going to do bloating. It doesn't have to be 100. I do 100 because I'm all gas, no brakes, baby. It's up to you, really, on what you want to do. And this is where things get creative. You can have a little bit of fun with your bloating. Look at that fucking Chad muscles right there, baby. You know, I'm just telling y'all that I'm editing this. This is actually what my real muscles <laughs> look like. I am just an humble guy. Okay, to keep this all simple, I'm actually going to pre-compose this. If you don't know anything about After Effects, I'll show you. You right-click, you press pre-compose. You can name it whatever. I'm not going to name it since it's just this tutorial. Now it's pre-comped. Every effect that you did in that window is put together. And you can do several pre-comps, and you can always go back to your pre-comps through here. It's very helpful when it comes to working in After Effects. I am much more organized when I actually edit. But uh, for the sake of simplicity and how fast I can make this video to try to make it as fast as possible for you guys, I'm being a loose cannon to make those muscles enormous. Get those Chris Redfield muscles up in this bitch. I feel like now my hands are a little too small. Gotta have those big fists, those meaty hooks. Also, uh, how have I not done a strong jaw yet? It's Chad time, baby. Maybe do a little bloating on the face up here. Oh yeah, that's a Chad right there. That is complete Chad energy. Again, remember, easy ease is your best friend. Boom. 
My computer is having a fucking heart attack right now. Now, if that is not a Chad Behemoth monster right there, I don't know what is, my guys. And this is the power of the liquify tool right here. You can literally do anything! But now that that's done, I'm gonna come back into Premiere. And now let's witness the beauty that is Chad and time. Now it's uh, Chad time. Time to Chad. <laughs> Through keyframing, you could change this, but I think that is a fucking masterpiece right there. It's beautiful so as now it's is. A Chad time. Time to Chad. Perfection. It can't be enhanced. It's literally my magnum opus. This is as good as it gets. So yeah, that's pretty much how you do it all. And uh, I hope these glasses made me seem smarter and that it made you bear with me a little bit more. Uh, I may seem a little too small brain now, so I'm actually gonna throw these bad boys back on. I'm gonna pretty much just wear these anytime I do a tutorial, just so you think I'm smarter than I actually am. But yeah, that's how you big brain, that's how you small brain, and that's how you do anything in between. Liquify tool, baby. It's very powerful, and I have not seen anyone talk about it. Like, maybe if you go to YouTube and you're like, how to liquify tool, but I guarantee you it's only gonna be a Photoshop that shows up. How to use the liquify. I'm sure I could look up After Effects, obviously, but like, if you don't know about it, Photoshop, Procreate, Photoshop, Photoshop, Photoshop. This is a very powerful tool that no one is talking about. Let me look up After Effects. See, see <laughs> these top, okay, Liquify Objects Distortion. That's cool, not the same effect that I'm talking about. This is from 2017. How to use Liquify tool in Adobe After Effects. See, this is helpful. This is the same stuff that I'm talking about, but it's only got 71 views. Like people aren't really talking about this. This dude's got a big channel. People watch this dude. It's only got 8.8 thousand views. <coughs> Please subscribe. <laughs> If you like this, please subscribe. I'm working really hard to make this content better. I hope it's funny for you. I hope it's informative for you. If you like this, me and my brother have a channel called Bro Down. It's the one that you're watching right now, but this isn't our main content. This is a side thing to get people to watch our shit. And I have a plethora of knowledge from shit that I learned trying to start this YouTube channel. Uh, we have not blown up yet. We are a small, 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 small channel. But we are having fun. We are playing video games together. We're reacting to shit. I am now doing these tutorials. There's a lot of shit to come, man. We do skits. We did this really funny skit uh, whenever we just came back. Like we're just getting started for 2021. So this is gonna be a big year for us and I'm gonna keep making this better content and just gonna keep pushing it forward. Okay, so come along with me and learn how to do it. This is a video that I hadn't seen a single person make a video about. And I just thought that was ridiculous that I had to figure this shit out by myself in 2021 with the internet being a thing forever. It's so annoying finding this stuff. Like if you're editing in Premiere, if you're editing in After Effects, if you're editing in any of these programs, there are tons of things that you look up all the time just to find out that someone asked it like 10 years ago and no one ever gave a fucking answer. And it's so frustrating. And I'm gonna do my best to make videos so you don't have to go through the shit that i've had to go through and spend like an entire day that you should have been editing just troubleshooting and other bullshit so my goal is with these tips and tutorials first off if i'm being super real to grow the channel but second off to help someone uh, not struggle through the same shit that i had to go through to get this shit going if you like this content please subscribe please uh, share it with your friends please comment let me know what i could do better tell me some stuff that you would like someone to do that they haven't done yet anything you know and if you like funny content two brothers joking around having a good time you should really watch our other content because i think it's really good uh, we've really been pushing it forward like before our initial videos were semi cringe i mean let's be real we're still cringe but it's a good cringe it's like a ha <laughs> those guys are cringe and i can laugh at that and if you want to laugh at two boys cringing uh then watch our shit it be really appreciated uh we're more than just tutorials and whatnot so i don't know what all of this is going into the video i'm sure most people have already clicked off because they just want the answer but uh if you stuck it out this long thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it i hope this was really helpful and i hope you have a really great day take care Bye bye